What's up guys? Today we are replacing the factory brake pads on my 2017 Chevy Silverado. These brake pads have a solid 91,000 miles on them. Um, and as of late, they have decided to give me their warning signs with a nice, big, beautiful squeak while I'm driving and while I'm braking. So I've gone ahead and instead of going with the factory ones, even though they did a really good job, I do do some towing sometimes um, on this vehicle. So I just want to make sure I got a little bit tougher. I already have these on the front. So I just wanted to tie the whole, not only the aesthetic, but the braking power all together, which is the uh, Power Stop Extremes um, with their ceramic pads and then their slotted and cross drilled rotors. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get these installed. So this side clearly is going to give me a lot of trouble in the back, mainly because this side has been on for 90,000 miles and on top of that this side actually sees salt water so the rust combined with it being there for so long is kind of being a pain in the rear right now I'm just using a breaker bar the longer the bar the more torque you technically have. So I'm just using that and slowly backing these out so I don't overextend them or snap them. Bye bye. Something I just learned right now is that these are actually labeled rear driver side or passenger side. But take a look at that. Isn't she a beaut? Oh yeah. Now that's pretty. Just to give you an idea, this is the new pad. This is the old pad. Now there's still a little bit of life. Very, very little. But that's the reality of... Here, let me do this. There's a lot more pad here. The other side is the one that's actually squeaking, so I'm assuming that that side is going to be a lot worse than what we're looking at right now. But let's get it installed, and we'll go over to the other side. So now that the back brakes are installed, the truck is entirely complete on the power stop uh, tilt package uh, braking setup. I had originally done the front brakes at about 70,000 miles, and they still had, the factory brakes still had a whole lot of meat left on them. Uh, but since I was already there, I wanted a better braking experience because I was towing my boat pretty often. I went ahead and switched them out anyways. I didn't really look into the back ones, just mainly because vehicles typically tend to stop more with the front. So I figured if these are pretty much almost like new, the back should be in similar situation. Apparently that wasn't typically the case um, because we're about 20,000 miles later and the back ones were almost pretty much flat. Um, now I wasn't too concerned about it kind of rubbing the rotor a little bit or these last couple days that they were um, based on that sound clip that you hear just kind of being kind of warning me that they are wearing out um, because I knew I was replacing the rotors and pads all together. Um, I have had the front ones on for about 20,000 miles and I absolutely love them. Um, I, I cannot say that they're going to last nearly as long as the GM uh, model that lasted you know close to 75,000 miles but I do want to say they do have a, a nicer bite than the factory uh, brake pads and rotors. Keep in mind, these are mainly the major differences between these and like a factory setup is, you know, a more modernized ceramic brake pad. And then on top of that, the slotted rotors and cross road rotors basically designed to dissipate heat where you're really going to only need to experience that kind of, you know, that heat dissipation when you're towing something, maybe on a, on, you know, driving up a grade or something like that. But during normal uses or circumstances like my truck is on a daily commuter, it's not necessarily uh, uh, necessary, but it looks great. So why not have all four of them on there? Um, I loved how it looks through the rims. I will show you guys in just a second. They are. Aren't they just gorgeous? Look at that. Look at that. They won't look as pretty in the next couple days, but they're definitely nice. 